Hi Pisces, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Northern Canada and you're the first sign I'm reading for. And this is going to be uh, looking towards the month of March and what can be expected over that period. All right, what, what we're seeing here I, I should probably plug my site right at the beginning, eh? Uh, over at thejourneyhome.ca, you can get all extended readings for all of the zodiacs and all of the afternoon delights for one price of $4.99 for the entire month. Please come on over to my site and have a look. Thejourneyhome.ca. Also, my personal readings are $25. You can ask as many questions as you want, and I, can an I will answer as many as I can in a 15 to 20 minute period. Okay, thanks for letting me spiel that off. The very first thing I got out of this was that you were, um, this, this is you, by the way, and this is your significant other or the person in question. And they're, they're dead. They're um, maybe not, maybe in the literal sense. I'm so sorry if you've lost a loved one, a partner, but this is about killing of emotions and and uh, hurt very much thoughts but painful painful thoughts painful thoughts that killed the relationship so that there was a breakup or if you're living together or married there was just you went in your separate corners and maybe got separate rooms and they see you as celebrating it and it breaks their heart even more because they think you're happy that you're happy without them you're better off without them and it's not that this person has lack of self-esteem they have an incredible amount of self-esteem and control they're in control of their emotions they're keeping those in check they're not listening to any advice or opinions of others but they are grieving. Yeah, they're hiding emotions and they're grieving. You, on the other hand, have shown some stubbornness here and a bit of an adherence to dogma that may not be as truthful as you were conditioned to believe growing up. But you are willing to... Uh, close your eyes to the things that you thought were wrong in them to learn how to accept them and in this separation between the two of you and, and you've 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 gone uh, into hermit mode you're trying to deal with accepting the differences between the two of you even though it goes against your morals or values or even integrity is being questioned this person on the other hand um do not feel they have broken any integrity do not feel that they've broken any faith or done anything wrong you know moralistically or value wise but perhaps they just took you for granted a little too long to the point where you just put your foot down pisces yeah, face it, you have a long fuse, but a big boom, a big boom. So you guys went off in separate corners. This was very painful for them. And it's painful for you too. There's no bout it out it. You're, uh, you have been considerably thinking about walking away and if marriage, divorce, but you're chained to this person, you're bound to this person, either through marriage or just that spiritual bonding that the two of you have. You want to begin all over again. You want to start from the very beginning and, and start a new project, a new career, a, a, you know, a raise in pay. You're just focusing on work. Because you're finding it too difficult to walk away from this person. You're bound to them. 
spiritually. So you're just focusing on work. You're keeping a brave face, Pisces. You look like you're um, you look like you're celebrating and it's it's making them grieve 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 very pained they're in a lot of pain but they're standing their ground they're not listening to the advice or opinions of others they are not changing their ways but Pisces you might be overlooking something here we have your person in the aid of earth and messenger of earth energy. They are working. They are getting their hands dirty. They are getting down in the mud, reflecting and, and working towards a future with you. They're trying to manifest that future that you desire. They're trying to manifest everything you, you ever desired. Uh, they want that for you. They want to be the one that gives it to you. At the same time, they probably didn't show that in the past. They didn't show like they cared to give you anything at all. But they're they're working their arses off right now spiritually, and they're trying to manifest this. They are rooted, rooted in harmony now. They're they're beginning to harmonize with you see where you are psychic pisces see your eyes are closed this is so you let me show you they're trying to root into that in in harmony and building those pentacles to give you that ultimate uh, completion of 10 pentacles they know what you can bring to the table. They're uh, very remorseful. But unfortunately, they're not seeing the fact that you still love them. You're still bound to them. You're, you're hiding your feelings well, but <clears throat> they're convinced. I mean, you're good because they're convinced. They're grieving. They don't see that little seahorse on their tail, which is you. Your psychic um, thoughts reaching out to them, reaching out to them psychically to show them you care, you love them, but you need this time apart, which you went into hermit mode to consider, do I walk away? I can tell you, Pisces, don't, don't walk away. In fact, this, this energy here, it's like you already know. If I walk away, uh, look at that's not steady. That that ship looks like it's going to hit a reef or you know hit some rocks and and go down. That water isn't very calm. So you could lose all that you built if you walk away. Don't walk away. This stubbornness of yours, like Pisces, there's no one who can be more stubborn than you. But there's also no one who is more forgiving and with their unconditional love. And you have that ability not to judge. But when you do judge, look out. But you do have that ability not to judge. And you need to see how you're kind of dazed. You know, well, this is what, how I grew up and that's how it is and that's all. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And I am right and you're, you're wrong. Maybe not so. Maybe this is a conditioning of your upbringing. We're going to unfold this over at thejourneyhome.ca in the extended. Come on over and visit us there. You can cross watch all you like as a member. And I'm going to see if. I'm going to see how this unfolds and the overall outcome. Let me just look at the bottom of the deck for you guys. Messenger of water. All right, this has to do with self-esteem. There's some self-esteem issues right now, and I think they're on both of your parts. I think whatever happened between the two of you devastated you to the point where you're, you're uh, second-guessing yourselves. Second-guessing yourselves so much that you're kind of afraid of communicating with each other in case it turns into another competition. 
but they are manifesting with all their might. They're manifesting and working hard inside themselves and around themselves. You too, you're focusing on your career. Absolutely. This beginning of your career or new job or new project. Guys, let's see how this ends. I, I, I believe I already know, but I love looking at the cards. Afternoon Delights, I've been, and I love these cards. These are like my, my family cards, but I've, I've got two new decks there I've been using for the Afternoon Delights and uh, just learning them because one deck in particular goes into herbs and flowers. Oh, gee, I love that. So, but I'm going to stick with these for the Zodiacs, at least for now, until I get a better understanding of the other decks. And because these cards really do talk to me. Okay, I'll see you over at thejourneyhome.ca or I'll see you at the next Pisces reading if we don't see you over there. God bless you, Pisces. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for staying with me. Please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like because that helps me too. And I'll see you on the next. God bless.